welcome to another edition of Name That Roller! My name is Johnny Bob Eubanks, and here's your host, Pete. Hello, and welcome to Name That Relic! We have an exciting collection of relics today, and all you have to do is guess what each one is, and you'll win an awesome prize. Johnny, tell them what the prize is. That's right, Pete. The winner will receive a new, an old tractor. This old orange tractor is a trusty beast that's been used for many years and not used for many more. It comes free with a wonderful patina and that age you just can't duplicate in the showroom. Some parts sold separately, some assembly required. Next prize is the Go Anywhere Portable Toilet. You can take it camping, you can take it to the game, you can take it any place you have to go. And I mean go. Up first we have this machine here. Can you guess what it is? Is it A, a 19th century exercise bicycle with hand strength coordinator mechanism? Or B, a sickle bar knife sharpener? Or C, a mechanized fingernail dresser for use in 18th century salon parlors. If you guess B, you're correct. This is a sickle bar sharpener and the sickle bars have triangular knives on them and you would run the bar through here and use this stone to sharpen the knife. Back in the old days the knives were smooth, they aren't serrated like they are now so they get dull quickly and they had to be sharpened often. Next we have this doohickey. Is it A, a hand operated vacuum cleaner, or B, a Civil War era flamethrower? If you said hand-operated vacuum cleaner, you are correct. Congratulations. This old vacuum cleaner sat upstairs in our house and I've never seen it used, but it, I imagine it was a real pain in the butt. It doesn't look very user-friendly to me to crank this thing and move the wand around at the same time. I don't no, as this device was very popular, but I can imagine the salesman that came to my great-grandmother's doorstep and sold her on this and <laughs> went to the next town the next day before his customers could come after him. Before we get to the next item, let's have Bob tell us what the consolation prizes are. Thank you, Pete. These consolation prizes have been provided by our sponsors. We have this wonderful T-shaped thing. Good for many, many things, I'm not sure what. And this big bowl. Use it for your cereal in the morning when you're really hungry, or keep the rain off your head. And the giant razor. Good for the toughest man's shave. Razor sharp and guaranteed to cut close. Tetanus booster is highly recommended before use. Next up we have this old device, which was too heavy to drag out of the barn. Is it A, a Tesla generating coil, B, a mechanical cream separator, or C, a set prop from a 1950s science fiction movie. You will meet a charming character in the robot, able to produce on order 10 tons of lead or a slinky evening gown. Always at your service. Mm -hmm. 
If you said mechanical cream separator, you are correct. Congratulations. My great grandmother made cream using this machine. She made a lot of butter and other milk products and I expect she used this almost every day. And what happens is you turn the crank and it spins uh, the cylinder around in here very fast and it separates the milk such that, that the heavy parts of the milk go to the outside of the spinning drum and the cream settles in the center because the cream is lighter than the milk and then you can separate the cream from the other milk components out these spouts as you're spinning it. This sat in the pantry of our house for many many years until we renovated the house and moved it out to the barn. Next up we have this. Is it A, a Looney Tunes chase pointer? Or B, a medieval weapon. <laughs> or C, a weather vane top. This is a tricky one. Take your time before deciding. Jack is a very good friend of mine. If you said weather vane top, I think you might be correct. I'm really not sure. So congratulations. I bought this at an auction along with a box of other things that it was stashed in. And I really don't know what it was. It probably is a weather vane pointer, not the part that turns with the wind, but the part that points to north. I'm not sure. Thanks for joining me on Name That Relic. And stay tuned for another fine episode coming soon. It's starting to rain. I think I'm going to go in. Mom was right. I should have never became a game show announcer.